Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. Today's video, we're going to be taking a deeper dive look at Senna. Now with Senna in the Horizon Cup, we kind of saw two different types of builds with her. We saw a more damage sort of build and we saw a more utility sort of support build as well. But the most important thing before we get into this video is that with Senna, you don't actually want to take any minions. Whether you play her in the dragon lane or whether you play her in the support role, you don't ever want to take any minions. And the most important thing to note about that is that you want to make sure you get as many souls as possible. Now, a few patches ago, they kind of reduced the drop rate of the souls quite a lot when you last hit minions. So... Obviously, when you lost hit minions, you're going to be getting a lot of gold, but you're not going to be getting a lot of souls. And the way Senno, you know, stacks up and the way Senno kind of scales into the late game is being able to collect as many souls as possible. So, what do you actually play Senna with down in the bot lane then as a dragon laner? Well, you mainly play her with like tank sort of champions. So, Galio, Gragas, Wukong are very, very good, but it's what we call fasting Senna. Now, fasting Senna means that the tank, so your kind of support in a way, is going to be taking all the CS and going to be building just pure tank. So, Gragas, Wukong, Galio is going to be taking all the farm and going to be building pure tank. And obviously, you will be dealing damage with your build, but you'll just be collecting souls the whole time by poking down the enemy champions and by collecting souls from the ground. So, with that in mind, you need to make sure, obviously, you don't last hit any CS, but this is what they call fasting center so you want to make sure that you kind of have a duo partner with you because this won't work a lot in solo queue so going through the build you got man immune as your first item very very good item for senna as you will be poking as i said down enemy champions a lot so you will be using your abilities a lot and this will just give you a lot of damage and then after that you just want to kind of just build as much damage as possible you've got items like ghost blade serrated's grudge rapid fire cannon for the range and crit as well and you even have guardian angel as your last item as well just to kind of keep you alive but with this build you're going to be doing a lot of damage you're going to be attacking from range as well you're going to be doing critical strike damage as well and overall this build is just going to be very very strong now moving on to the support sort of orientated build as you can see there's not a lot of damage in this build this is more to do with utility and more to do with kind of helping your team out in terms of armor penetration um, whether it be the slows or anything like that as well now this is just your standard support center build you don't need to do anything crazy you got your ad carry with you you got your support center with you as well and you'll be completely fine so you got items like icebound gauntlet which will make you a bit tanky give you a lot of mana give you that slow as well again black cleaver giving you that little bit of damage but making sure you get you get really really tanky rapid fire cannon for the range more to reminder for the healing reduction as well and just a little bit of extra damage and as always guardian angel as your last item as well now in terms of boots with senna you can go for the lucidity boots if you want to but you can go for other sort of boots as well you can go for the plated steel caps is a good option mercury treads is also a good option as well and in terms of boots upgrades stasis is a good option if you do want to play really really defensive you can go for redemption if you're going for that more support orientated build if you want to go for redemption but most of the time you just want to go for stasis to kind of keep yourself alive because even though you you are going to be building that support center build or even if you build the ad sort of center build you will still be really really squishy and you will still be very very easy target for the enemy champions and the assassins in particular in terms of the runes, you're grasping, I'm dying. Obviously, as I said, with Senna, you want to be poking down the enemy champions as much as possible. And every four seconds in combat, your next attack on a champion will be enhanced based on your maximum health. So you'll be able to heal 2% uh, of your maximum health. You'll be able to permanently, permanently increase your health as well by five. And you'll be able to do bonus damage at the same time as well. So this is very, very helpful with Senna. You also got Brutal for the extra uh, damage early on, the extra AD damage. Bone plating, which helps you a lot against that combo damage, and you got Sweet Tooth in there as well. And then with the support build, you kind of want to go for something a bit similar. You got weakness in there, which will help you a lot, especially with the root, and especially with your slows as well, because impairing the movement of the enemy champions make them take 5% more damage. So even though you're not doing a lot of damage, you'll be able to deal more damage with the weakness, and your rest of your team will be able to deal more damage with weakness as well. Hunter Titans in there as well. You can go for Hunter Titan if you want to, as a different variant. Hunter Titan gives you that maximum health and gives you tenacity, so reduces the crowd control of the enemy champions. And also you got Mana Flow Band in there as well. So you don't really want to take Sweet Tooth because most of the time you won't actually be taking the healing as support center. You just want Mana Flow Band in there 
just kind of make sure you get that extra bit of mana just so you're kind of not running out of mana at any point and for the spells we have flash and we have barrier you can go for heal if you want to as well it just kind of depends on what the duo takes down in the bot lane but yeah that's pretty much everything to do with senai as i said we saw both variants in the horizon cup let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are of senna and what you think of the two builds and kind of what you prefer as well It'd be very nice to get your opinions as well at the same time but yeah as always enjoy the gameplay that i'm about to show you uh, another fiesta game of uh good old streamer game streamer content as they would say and uh yeah as always take care of yourselves and i'll see you all very soon peace let's do it let's do it I think I want to get tier first to stack it up as soon as possible. Alright, full lethality center with Gragas in the bot lane. So this is going to be fasting center. So this means that Keys, aka the Gragas, is going to be taking all the farm. So if Keys miss any CS, then blame him. I'm just saying, blame it on him. I should have gone heal or barrier this game, I think. Pretty close. Okay. That wasn't too good. That was not too good, chat. Not the best of early games. Not gonna lie to you. Small talk wasn't really part of my training. Oh, why am I getting trolled by my team? I'm getting trolled, chat. I'm getting Omega trolled by my team. Oh, God. I'm sad. Ok, 
Okay, nice. A few kills. Okay, not bad. Oh, the game was a bit scuffed, but we got a couple of kills there. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Okay. I didn't get a sister. I tried to ulti him in time, but maybe I should have ulti him from lane. That was kind of my bad. I forgive. No one else has to. Okay. I'm cracked, by the way. I right, sir. Oh, keys is cracked at Gragas. Okay, what wouldn't say, I guess. Nice. Wooden saint of the game, by the way. Let's go, let's go. I'm here to assist you. Okay. Send his broken chat. S plus plus tier. Top turret is under attack. First turret destroyed. The enemy turret destroyed. Not bad, not bad. There's no way he hit me there. There's no way he hit me there. Is it Ghost Blade or is it Dust Blade? Probably Ghost Blade, right? Ah, oh, there's no way he hit me there. That's so sad. That was a little bit unfortunate. Little bit unfortunate. Okay, I thought they were going to go in on Nari there. I think it's Dust Blade. Maybe it is Dust Blade. Ghost Blade or Dust Blade wouldn't be too bad. Lucian thought I was lost, but I was only changed. I think either one or the other would be pretty good. Okay, we're insane, by the way. These things just dead, guys. I'm gonna do his AFK.
Oh, my stun's insane there. Oh my god, my W was so good. Maybe it is Dust Blade. Okay. My healing is actually quite a lot. It's actually crazy how much my healing is. Nice. Maybe it's Dust Blade. I'm not too sure if it's Dust Blade or Ghost. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm actually not too sure if it's Dust Blade or Ghost Blade. I should not back there. Maybe it is Dust Blade. Oh, I think I'll go Ghost Blade. I'll go Ghost Blade into Grudge. Ghost Blade into Grudge is not that bad. True damage center is keen. Yeah, okay, yeah. This skin is really, really good. I really like this center. Okay, he's dead. Got him? The snipe? Oh my god, my damage. What is my damage? My damage and my healing is just nutty. Yo, oh, that's still Dr. Mundo. Miss that one. I have exhaust as well. We're just ARAM in a moment. This is the NAA RAM. This is a classic NAA RAM. I mean, we're just destroying them at this point. We're just so, so strong right now. Maybe I can try and kill TF here or something. How many stacks do I have? 60 stacks in 13 minutes? Not bad. Not bad at all. There's no way he comes mid, right? NAA Ram. <laughs> What's up, King Kai? How you doing, mate? It's a classic, you know. Everyone knows about the NAA Ram. The classic. All right, we got a grudge now. Now we'll probably go for for Dust Blades. We will go for our dust blade. Boom! Dead. 
And Dottomado's dead as well. Oh my god. My damage is crazy! I think this is like one of the first times I've ever gone full damage Senna. I did not realize she does this much damage. Crazy. GG's! There we go, boys. And girls. Fasting Senna with a tank bot lane. I think you could you could play this in solo queue if you have a duo with you. If you have a duo with you, then I feel like you can you could definitely um you could definitely try this out. And it would definitely work very well. So you know you put the support on the tank, they farm up to get tanky, get tank items, and you just go full damage center. Like my damage is not too bad this game, you're not gonna do that much damage, but you got like another tank on your team to help you out, which is quite nice. Yeah, pretty good.